Do you really feel like it messed up your childhood not having a dad? <laughs> More than you know. I struggled with who I was, trying to prove myself. You know, if fathers just did what they're supposed to do, half of the junk that we face on the streets wouldn't exist. Kids have a hole in their soul in the shape of their dad. I believe God puts it there. He sort of whispers into the wounds of their mothers that there's this guy that's supposed to love them like no other. And when he doesn't, it leaves a wound that's not easily healed. When he was there, uh, it wasn't, you know, the, the time spent together. Uh, you know, we didn't take the camping trips or the fishing trips or anything like that. I took a lot of things that he did or didn't do in my life and uh, I molded myself to be able to go into my children's life and uh, be that what I didn't have. My dad was kind of distant. My dad was a distant father. I think the, the, the biggest thing that we talked about was education. You know, we didn't really talk about personal things. We really didn't talk about, um, you know, important issues that, might, uh, that would affect a young person. And I really miss that. I really miss that. A dad is really the first guy to chase his daughter's heart, to pursue his daughter's heart. And the key thing for, in this case, is that he pursues her heart in her best interest. The women will have a lot of guys that will pursue their heart, but it may not necessarily be in their best interest. And really what a dad can do is help his daughter uh, find her prince without kissing all the toads. Here, hold this while I get another diaper. Is this someone you met at school? Yes, he's nice though. Has he asked you out? Yes. Jay, come on baby, we already yeah. talked about this. You can't go out on a date with anyone until they come talk to me, and they have no business talking to me until you're 17. But it's not even a real date. We're just going to the mall to walk around. If a boy has asked you to go anywhere with him, it's a date. When I look at the Bible and I, I see, hey, I am solely responsible for helping and teaching and training them in the ways of the Lord. So I take that very, very seriously. Jade, one day I'll give you away to another man, and I want that man to love God more than anything. Because if he does, then he'll love you. God is going to use this movie to help men to look at scripture and see what am I supposed to be doing as a father? How am I supposed to be treating my children? Am I supposed to be teaching them? How am I supposed to treat my wife? So it's going to be a very, very powerful movie. What I believe God is going to do is to take this movie and use it as a catalyst to set a fire under churches. Unfortunately, in many churches, we've not seen it as a part of our vision and mission to help families be whole. And this movie provides an opportunity for churches to see how important that is. I don't want to be a good enough father. We have a few short years to influence our kids. Whatever patterns we set for them will likely be used for their kids and the generation after that. We have the responsibility to mold a life. And I don't think that should be done casually. If you're going to lead the orchestra, you must turn your back to the crowd. So. Fathers, you have to listen to the right voices. I have to listen to the right voices. I have to have accountability. I have to have other men that will speak into my life. Men will not do well by themselves. Fathers don't. You may feel vulnerable or you may lose your job. You may have health concerns and not as strong as you used to be. You may get a bad report at the doctor. Your hair may be graying, and you're a little pudgy, but don't ever forget, you will always be special to your children because you are their dad. You are their father who God gave you to them and them to you.